Pony recently paid its first dividend this past month, which if we annualized, would give us a ridiculous 80% yield. Meaning one could recoup their entire investment in about a year and a half. That means if I dumped my entire $155,000 portfolio into Kony, I'd be making about $124,000. Enough to easily retire and live pretty comfortably. But why am I hesitant to do this? Let's find out exactly why. Kony, much like all YieldMax ETFs, is able to generate current income, and its secondary objective is to get exposure to Coinbase and a limited amount of its potential gains. They're doing this via synthetic covered calls, which is a call and put options based on the value of the price returns of Coinbase. I've made other YieldMax ETF videos where I go into much more detail on how these work and the risk of doing them. Just some things to keep in mind. Investing in this fund is not the same as investing in Coinbase, which is a company that operates a cryptocurrency exchange platform. It is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the US by trading volume. I don't need to tell you how volatile and risky crypto is, especially after the antics of Sam Bankman-Fried and his polyamorous friends. Coinbase is a relatively new company, it's not as established as a lot of other yield max companies, newer companies tend to be more volatile, as earnings can fluctuate on a good earnings report or a bad earnings report, earnings just in general can fluctuate, and a big way that Coinbase makes money is charging fees for crypto trading. But if nobody is really hot on crypto like they are these days, that's less money they're going to be making. But who knows, maybe there will be another crypto bull market like there was in 2017 and 2021. Now the actual company Coinbase doesn't pay a dividend. In fact, it's not even a profitable company. So no extra earnings to pay out. That's why ETFs like Coiny can provide a way to get exposure to Coinbase. Coinbase has a ridiculous beta of 2.69. That means for every one percentage point, the overall market moves, Coinbase can expect to fluctuate nearly 3%. Imagine the emotions of watching this ticker all day. But volatility might not be the best if you want a heart attack, but it is a fantastic way to get more premiums, which is exactly how Kony is able to extract these juicy monthly dividends. It's going to be doing synthetic long exposure to Coinbase, the fund will buy Coinbase call options and simultaneously sell Coinbase put options to try and replicate the price movements of Coinbase. The call options are purchased by the fund and the put options sold by the fund will generally have six months to one year terms and a strike price that are approximately equal to the then current share price of Coinbase at the time the contracts are purchased and sold. Their short-term call options will be 5-15% to more than the current share price of Coinbase, generally expiring in less than one month. They also hold US Treasuries, one of the safest assets out there, and these are going to be generating some income, but they're mostly used as collateral for their derivatives investments. YieldMax is very transparent when it comes to the fund strategy, it will cap potential gains of Coinbase if it really increases in value. So if you're very bullish on Coinbase, just owning Kony might not be enough. Also, there's no downside protection. So if Kony does very poorly in a short period of time, it's exposed to all those potential losses if they aren't made up by the options trading the fund does. Big swings like this can really erode the nab of Kony. Let's also not forget that YieldMax charges a hefty 99 basis points expense ratio to do all this complex trading for you, which is not cheap. Kony has paid one dividend so far, which was a $1.21 payment on October 16th, which had an ex-dividend date of October 6th. Surprisingly, Kony only fell about 60 cents the day after the ex-dividend date. Let's compare Kony to Coinbase and the overall market. Since August 15th, Kony is down 2.23%, or 44 basis points. Coinbase is down 2.17% or negative 1.72 points. The overall market is down 1.55% or 6.87 points. So Kony may be doing the worst, but factoring in dividends, it's not really doing that bad. Of course, this is a super small sample size. Investing is done over longer time spans than just six weeks. So yes, I could put my full $155,000 portfolio into Kony, and if the market conditions stayed exactly the same, I could potentially make six figures. 
But I know in the long run, there's going to be times when Coinbase absolutely tanks, and then it won't be able to recover in time. And a lot of that principle can get eroded. Personally, that's just not for me. I'm pretty risk adverse. I'm very conservative in my investing. And don't get me started on all the potential tax consequences of Coney. I understand that options are a powerful way to make money, but I'm still not sold on the scale of Yieldmax's strategy. Also, we don't even know how these dividends will fare in different market conditions. What about when there's less volatility? What if Coinbase, the company, goes bankrupt? All important questions to ask, but unfortunately, what I'm seeing is just a bunch of people looking at the best case scenarios and putting their hands over their ears like a child when confronted with a different viewpoint. I'm more so speaking to the 25-year-old investor who has $3,000 invested and all of it is in income ETFs. I'm not speaking to the older investors who already have a nice fortune saved up and are truly just looking for some monthly income. I've always maintained that these funds, they could potentially have a small place in an already wealthy investor's portfolio who just wants to preserve their wealth. But young guns looking to get rich from these ETFs, <laughs> they're not designed for you. I'd love to hear what you think about Kony in the comments below. The investing strategy I love is dividend growth, which you can check out those videos right here. I just made almost $400 in passive income last month. My videos are always found in podcast form under the Collect Cash podcast name. Patreon supporters get to see all my weekly trades. I'm still beating the market overall for 2023. And I will buy, stash, and collect cash you later.